A what it is. I go by the name Matthew Cooley, aka DJ Cooley. You know, God is so good. First of all, I want to say I just he placed it on my heart to put out a, a testimony, and you know I just put it out. A lot of people liked it, shared it. So I just want to thank everybody for supporting me. I want to thank everybody for liking and share it. All the blog sites, you know, if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go see it and share it. You know, let it touch another life. And I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm grateful for all the people that seen it. I'm grateful for people who decided to give their life to the Lord. And I'm, I'm just grateful for everybody that's seen it, you know? But, so if it's a lot of y'all still thinking like, yeah, man, this video touched me, but you know, I, I, need, I just need another confirmation, you know? I gotta get some stuff off my back, man. There's, some, there's a couple things I gotta handle first, you know? Couple court cases, you know, I got I gotta finish getting a couple dies first, you know, and then you know when I when I when I when I get myself right, man, I'ma come to God. Now that see first of all, that's the wrong concept. That's not how God works. God wants you right now in the midst of whatever you doing. Like I said, the battle ain't ours. If you got a problem, that's why we go to Jesus for it. So he can handle the problem. That's all I'm encouraging you to do is give your heart to God. I'm not sending you this video so you can thank me. I'm not sending you this video so you can congratulate me. This is God reaching out to you. God is speak to you using other people. I don't understand how y'all could do the same thing for years. You've been going to the club since you was 17 years old using fake ID. And you still going to the club, you still trying to get drunk, you still trying to find a man, you still trying to get high, you still trying to get fly, you worry about everything. How many years gotta pass in order for you to say, you know what, it gotta be something more than life. It's time that we start living our lives for God. This, this world is temporary. The enemy wants you to live the finest lavish life on earth so you'll be in eternity miserable for the rest of your life. God wants us to give him everything. Be not conformed to this world. You live in it, but be not conformed to this world. And then God will exalt you in the kingdom. That's having a kingdom mindset where you're not worried about things of this world because you know it's temporary. It's temporary. But when you leave this earth, that's forever. A thousand years, a million years, a billion years past, that's forever. This world is getting more wicked by the day. The end times is coming. You better open up your Bible. The end times is already here. The end times is here. We right there. We right there at the door. That's why God is calling his people now. Me personally, listen, I already knew that God is real, just like most of y'all do. I didn't plan on really giving my life to God. At least when I'm in my mid-40s, I just know God gonna use me when I'm old. But see, but tomorrow ain't promised. Let me pull it up right here. No man knows the day or the hour. And that's in Matthew 24, verse 36. It say, but about that day or hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, nor the son, but only the father. Tomorrow isn't promised. I'm going to read you the scripture in Matthew 24, 44. It says that, So you also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. See, a lot of people out here trying to predict when he's going to come, trying to trying to put predictions when the Father going to come. No man knows the time. No man knows the date. No man knows the hour. Not even Jesus. The Bible is telling y'all to be ready when he comes. When I was in the world, I had so many dreams that the world was ending, then I'd be crying out to God. i cry out to God the last second. And I'm talking about within the last year, God would send me dreams. And listen, God been warning us for years now that he's coming back. Y'all keep putting the timing on God. God don't move in no time. God could just come down and strike down right now. That's why you gotta be ready. When I, when, when I was in the world, you know how many times, you know how many times I would say, you know what, man, God, Take it, it's all yours, Lord, you, you, you know. A week later, if not a week, I would backslide. Like, you say things out of emotion. You say things because at the moment, but God wants you to, God wants you to give him your heart. And that's what happened. I was really serious this time and my heart was open to receive God. And I was just like, you know what, man? I'm gonna give everything up. And you know what the, you know what's the first thing that God did? The first thing he did was send me another dream. He sent me a dream that I wasn't gonna make it to the music industry. When I say I wasn't gonna make it to the music industry, I wasn't gonna make it as far as I see myself in the music industry. You know, I might have produced for this artist or this artist, but I seen me billboards, Forbes list, being on TVs, Grammys, everything. That was my vision and it was crazy because at this point I already told the father like I'm letting it all go But God wanted to show me even if I tried to turn back this was gonna happen. God is so 
bigger than what we could even imagine. God is so big that we can't even comprehend how big he is. He's unlimited. Anything is possible through God. He's the biggest thing. He's Jehovah. God is way bigger than what you've been doing. God will take the little bit of knowledge that you got, the little bit of talent that he gave you, and expand it all the way out further than you can even imagine. God is trying to show us miracles, signs, and wonders, but we want to keep limiting the Father. First, all you got to do is just give your heart to God, then let him move step by step. Stop putting God in a box. Stop limiting him. Stop trying to stop trying to put a perspective on the type of people he likes saving. Stop trying to stop trying to judge people. He looks saved. He don't look saved. She look like she really seek God. He look like he be he be backsliding on these days. Stop stop being judgmental. All you got to just seek God and focus on God. Don't worry about nobody else. Worry about yourself and worry about God. Let's let's keep focusing on God. Let's 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 stay focused on the Father. Let's not lose focus. Let's stop worrying about entertainment. Let's stop worrying about getting the glory for things that God did for us. We got to give him the glory. He the one who gave you the ministry. He the one who touched your life. He the one who gave you that house. He the one who gave you that job. Start giving God the glory. Let God touch your life if you haven't already done so. So I just want to thank everybody who actually hit me up with a testimony, man. Just stay strong. Stay in there. Don't give up. It wasn't easy. Don't wait till it's late. Have faith and do this thing right now. Do it today. Stop playing and do it right now.